In medical school, when we were taught how to take histories, we were asked just to mull over the social habits, the bowel habits, and the sexual history. Of course, it was important to put something on the paper, but we would ask, how are your bowel movements? And the person would say, fine. And we'd say, okay, check. How's your sexual history? How, oh, have you had sex? Yes, check. Have you been pregnant? Yes or no, check. Uh, do you have any concerns? No, check. Sometimes we would ask about HIV. Sometimes we would ask about a few touchy topics, but we would never delve into things in detail. <coughs> and certainly when it came to asking about poop, we never ever asked <coughs> anything the way that Ayurveda asks. And so we walked away believing that people had fine poop. One day I asked someone, how is your poop? And she said, fine. And then I asked her, well, how was it this morning? Did you have, what was it early in the morning? And I was trying to teach her some basic dinacharya. And she said, well, I didn't poop this morning. I said, oh, I thought you said it was fine and regular. It is regular. I go once a week because people are in the house and I want peace and quiet and it's smelly. So I only go once a week. I said, what do you do? when you need to go on the other day. She says, I just hold it in and I do something and I get distracted and then I don't need to go anymore. And I wondered how she managed for six days holding it in. But then I started meeting more and more patients who simply don't have an urge to go. That means they're holding waste in their body that's supposed to go out at least once a day and they're holding it in for days and days. And this kind of chronic holding which in American English is called constipation, is so bad for the body because it really rots the tissues down in the lower gut, in the hip, in the lower colon and the rectum. What we need to understand is that the body human is made to poop every day, generally early in the morning, and it should contain the news of what you ate the day previously. So if you had a lot of spinach, your poop might be more dark. Or if you had a lot of beets, your poop might have more of a reddish tinge. But we should be pooping every day and it should look like a brown banana. It should not be little marbles or little pencils or little spots or pieces of wet shredded newspaper looking poop. And it should not be painful and crampy. And no one teaches us this, and most of us do not poop with other people, so we don't know what normal poop is. Look at your poop. Think about it. I'm Dr. Bhashwati Bhattacharya, and I'm a member of NCAM.